your seat. Callahan should be here any second. Um, three years ago, I was sitting right where you're sitting, and I'd heard the same rumors I'm sure you heard too. Callahan is ruthless. He bathes in the blood of sheep, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Only partly true. What you really need to know is that you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you. Now, when you choose a law career, the moment you embark, there is that joke you're bound to hear, a lawyer is a shark. Ignore that, it's simplistic and it's dumb. Only some of you will turn out sharks, just some. The rest are chum. Our topic is blood in the water. Kids, it's time you faced. Law school is a waste. Oh yes, unless you acquire a taste for blood in the water. Dark and red and raw, you're nothing until the thrill of the kill becomes your only law. Mr. Schultz, hypothetical question. Would you be willing to defend the following banker accused of fraud? A kind old grandma took her savings and she sent it off to your client, all she saved since she was born. Well, he promised to invest it, but he spent it on prostitutes and heroin and porn. No, I wouldn't want to take that case. Wrong! This one is a win unless you're lazy. Grandma's broke, she'll have some hack from legal aid. Put her on the stand and call her old and crazy. Your guy goes free and he can get you high and laid. Look for the blood in the water. Read your Thomas Hobbes. Only spineless snobs will quarrel with the morally dubious jobs with blood in the water. Your scruples are a flaw, Miss Hoops. Hypothetical question, would you be the right lawyer for the following client? Say they offer you a bundle for defending a famous hitman for the mafia elite. Well, seems he missed his chosen prey, killed a nun and drove away, running over three cute puppies in the street. Why, you think I wouldn't defend him just because he's a typical man? <laughs> <laughs> Lesbians, think you're so tough! <laughs> oh dear, I fear my comment has offended. Hard to argue though when you're too mad to speak. Your employment will be very quickly ended once they see how your emotions make you weak. So what's my point? I run a billion dollar law firm and I hire four new interns every year. From this class I will select four young sharks whom I respect and those four will have a guaranteed career. Do you follow me? So I want to see what? Exactly, let the games begin. Four of you will win, but just those four with it are so thin with blood in the water. So fine and scratch and claw. Yes, Miss... Uh, Woods, El Woods. Ooh, someone's had their morning coffee. Would you summarize the case of State of Indiana v. Hearn from your reading, please? Oh, I wanted to answer the puppy question. But I'm asking you about your assigned reading. Okay, who assigns reading for the first day of class? <laughs> you have guts, Miss Woods. Miss Kensington, let us say you teach a class at Harvard Law School, a position that you're justly proud about, but a girl on whom you call hasn't read the case at all. Should you let it go or... No, I'd throw her out. All right, then. You heard your classmate. You have just been killed. She caught your crow, so grab your coat. Yes, you've got guts, but now they're spilled your blood in the water. So you please withdraw. And if you return, be ready to learn. Or is 
that unfair? Oh, wait, I don't care. That's just how I rule. In life as in school, with fear and shock and awe, you're nothing until the thrill of the kill becomes Comma L. Listen, I was kicked out of class once, first year too. It's awful, but trust me, your law career is not over. Law career? So not the problem. Listen, I need to get back into class with Warner. Can you help me? Yeah. Come back tomorrow and make sure you've done your reading. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Why would you do that to another girl? Do what? We girls have to stick together. We shouldn't try to look good by making each other look bad. I didn't make you look bad. You just weren't prepared. Try opening a law book, but I should warn you, they don't come with pictures. So, I'll give you ladies a moment then. <laughs> Aren't there girls going wild somewhere without you? Hey. Warner, thank God you're here. Well, I'm sorry. Sorry about what? Warner, is there something you'd like to share with Elle? Do you know her? Uh, yes, uh, Vivian and I went to boarding school together and uh, She's my girlfriend now. I'm sorry, I just hallucinated. What did you say? He said, I'm his girlfriend. Girlfriend? <laughs> ah! Marco, Serena, Pilar. Girls, what's going on? Honey, this is a tragedy. And every tragedy needs a Greek chorus. Greek chorus! Elle, we're here to help. But we're not actually here here. We're just in your head. Honey, what you crying at? You're not losing him to that. Both her hair and shoes are flat. And why is she so rude? Wipe your tears, it's no big thing. You were meant to wear his ring. Cheer up, chin up, it's time to bring a happy attitude. Keep it positive. As you slap her to the floor. She might stab me in the gut With a stick that's up her butt She's got a plan B uh, me. Look at her, she's like a nun Showing you a way more fun Bust up the left out and you want you off the hazel jeep What? Keep it positive Yeah, rip off your clothes and dance Are we? Warner, let's take this back to my place. Ah. Harvard, not a stripper bar. 